<laughs> All right, uh, let's talk about this one. And um, wh when it happened, um, it was a tragedy. One year ago. It's one year ago it happened, took the world by storm. A lot of people wondered how uh, it could it could happen. Uh, talking about Emilia Losala, and um, I mean, it's still the story leaves a sore taste in the mouth of everybody. Wow. Is like Cecilia said, a year um, after his death, Cardiff City, uh, the players and everybody involved with Cardiff City, uh, the management and players paid a uh, tribute to. Uh, Eminialo Sala yesterday, memorial service uh, was, was held uh, at the cathedral in Cardiff. Uh, that's the first anniversary of his death. Even though, even though some would say yeah. it wasn't really part of them, I think came, came in, signed papers, went back. Uh, but of course, they are, they, are reminding, they are remembering him. Didn't really get a chance to don uh, the colors he played for nuns, but it was a life lost. And uh, a real, real sad story. Yeah, wow. absolutely. Uh, Bruma Salah died in a plane crash on January 21st, 2019, while traveling to Cardiff to join the Premier League club. Then, from French side, no, now no. on a 15 million pounds deal. Uh, we'll hear from, you know, one of those guys who actually was at St. David's Cathedral to pay tribute to him and also at the memorial service we're talking about how this guy is missed. Yeah, I think it's obvious. I think um, as a club, I think we need to come and support that. Me personally, I know the lad, so it was massive for me to be here and for his, and be with his family and uh, all his friends. So it was very important for everyone. Lots of fans here, fans down at the club. It, it's something that's affected the whole football club, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's it's not just it's not just the football club. I think it's all around the world. I think it's a uh, his family received a lot of messages, um, and rightly so. And I think when it's a tragedy like that, the football community get together, and um, I think it's important. Yeah, outside, uh, Saul Bamba, uh, the captain, Sean Morrison, and also the manager, Neil Harris, were also some of the players that were there for the Argentine uh, player. Okay. That was one of the few moments mm. that brought the world together. Uh, you, you know, you mean, hopefully, uh, good moments instead of things like good moments will bring us all together. Oh, 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 yes. uh, it's, um, it's, it's, it's a tragedy that, that, that befell the family, the Cardi City, and then Nance. You know, in life, you have dreams. Yeah. His dream was to play in, in, the, um, in the English Premier League. The dream was always been actualized, was already even actualized. But unfortunately, he never had the chance yeah. to, leave, to leave that dream. On his way to 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 Cardiff, he, the, the the plane got drowned in the English in the English Channel, and okay. he lost his life. Yeah, um, okay. Rest so. in peace to rest in peace in Madasala, and I, I pray that, that the family found the fortitude to bear, to the, bear loss. the loss because it's a, it's a great loss for them. They Big still one. don't have Big closure one. because they are still asking questions and looking for answers to what really happened. That, that's the major issue. Okay, let's take a look at the papers now. I'm starting with the Sporting Zone here. 2022 FIFA World Cup Nigeria gets easy draw. That's what it's saying here. Sporting Zone, that's where I'm starting from. And uh, Barcelona snubs Usime. I don't even know where this story is coming from. Everyone has <laughs> been talking about it. And Trust Ekon says how he caged Ibrahimovic. Now, I said Trust Ekon should have been Africa best 11, part of it, <laughs> ahead of Joe Matip, and people were arguing with me. This guy is good, yes? Okay. okay. Uh, complete sports is the next one, and of course, Gennett Raw reacts and says Eagles' uh, draw is tricky. They've got three tricky opponents. Uh, I know why he's saying that, especially teams that you've not really played so mm -hmm. well, and you never can tell. And, and like Wally said, you just have to say that's just the way you will say it. Even if you feel you're going to get yeah. 18 points, you just have to, so your players don't get complacent. Okay, and Moses passes medical, joins Inter Milan on loan. Oh. Oh, right. Good one. Finally. <laughs> Good move. <laughs> you know, there was a time we were in the studio when we talked about this thing. I said it one time that Conte, I don't know what it's what is. Yes, he believes so much in mm -hmm. Moses. Now, when he was in Chelsea, Moses had the best time of his career in Chelsea yeah. under Conte. So I'm not surprised that he got a switch. The major surprise is that I thought his career has gone on a downward, downward, downward deal. But today, yeah, yeah, he has been resuscitated. He will play in Inter Milan because that Inter Milan team now, the way, the way things are now, Conte is reunited with oh, the English Premiership to challenge Juventus. All right. And to me, they will pose a great challenge to Juventus because that team is made up of steel, it's made of experience, it's made of players that have seen it in other parts of the league. All right. And they are bringing that energy, the passion of the English Premiership to the Serie A. And that has been lacking in the Serie A. That's why Juve has been dominating for years. All but right. to me now, 
Kunti Let's is see. on a real renaissance. All right. Under All right. Okay. Wale seems to be impressed with Inter. I hope Victor Moses uh, is able to deal with the physicality of the Syria. Last week for review is uh, Spotted uh, Live. Uh, some of the other stories that uh, we have read. Raw NFF meet early February. E Eagles begin campaign against Lone Stars of uh, Liberia. You have Aguero comes off the bench to save uh, citizens, gunners, uh, and draw uh, Ericsson in Spurs squad. So, um, uh, it will go, it will not go. Mourinho says he doesn't care. As long as he remains a Spurs player, he's going to use him. Okay, that has been the, um, the transfer of the, of, the, of, of, the winter, of, the, of the winter window. A transfer that will always um, linger yeah, about the headlines and the news, but that, that transfer has not, not materialized. We'll continue to wait till, the, till the January the first to see whether Ericsson stays in Tottenham or Spore or a reveal okay. Inter Milan player okay. for the rest of the season. Okay. All right. So that's a wrap on the show. Wale, shall I want to thank you uh, for your time today? Oh, you're welcome. You hear me? You're always right. welcome. Cecilia. And hopefully, really nice hopefully we'll, we'll do this again some other time. Thank you as well for allowing us to be a part of your day. We'll be back here again tomorrow. I'm Imad Bye-bye now. I'm Cecilia Mongbe. Thanks for watching.